Genuine question, could it be that TV license has been lying to us all this time? Because there's a very important question I'd like to raise in this video, which I credit Chili John Carney for, because I watched his video this afternoon having a bit of a lazy Friday, and I thought to myself, that's a darn good question. So first of all, happy Friday, welcome back. If you're new to me, I'm a barrister and I like making YouTube videos, helping you to understand law. And so this question that I raise here is based on documentation that you've probably seen coming through from TV licensing, very often stating that this is the final stages of investigation. Because if it really is the final stage of investigation, then surely it should be coming to an end. And that should be it, right? Because if they write to you threatening that if you don't respond within X number of days or whatever, that they are going to enter the final stages of investigation, which is how these letters are so often worded. Now, I think we all know that that's not really true because the letters will probably keep coming, as has been highlighted by many different YouTube channels, my own included. So very often you will see these letters saying that this is the final letter, the final warning, we're coming around or whatever it might be. But strictly speaking, if this is coming out from an official organisation, as an official warning, because they are, after all, warning you under statutory law of an offence that you may be committing if you're watching a recording live TV or downloading uh, BBC or watching, watch, watching rather BBC programmes on BBC iPlayer or installing apparatus for any of that purpose, then you're committing an offence if you do that without a licence. So they are writing to you and warning you about a real offence. It is actually an offence to do those things, believe it or not. International viewers, it is still an offence to watch or record live TV in the UK without a TV licence. Even if that TV has been broadcast on YouTube and it's a proper TV company, although they won't give us a proper list of uh, who qualifies as one of these companies. And even if it's international, even if it's on delay, if it's 10 minutes delayed or even an hour delayed, it's still considered to be live. It's at or around the same time it's being broadcast to the general public. You need a license. But the point here is, if the letters that they send out are warning you of an offence and they say, this is now the final stage of investigation, then that should be it. You shouldn't hear from them after that because they've had their final stage of investigation. So they should either charge you if they believe you've committed the offence or drop it and leave you alone. Because they can't be telling you, legally speaking, they shouldn't be telling you that this is the final bid if it's not, because that would be dishonest or misleading and unfair, unjust. And one might even say that if it were to continue and they continued making these kind of threats of coming to visit you, investigate you, etc., and never actually followed through on it, that might well amount to harassment because there have been cases that have gone to court where lawyers have threatened individuals with court action. They've even on occasion said that they've uh, taken steps for court action when in fact they didn't and they've been found liable to harassment. So in that scenario, it is entirely possible that those final warning letters might be considered to start that process of harassment if they continue to send you letter after letter after letter after that threatening. And I've received from some of you that have kindly sent me uh, packages full of letters that you've received from TV licensing um, that I've used on occasion for examples in my videos. Many of you have received dozens and dozens, hundreds on some occasions of these letters warning you this is the final stage of investigation, we're investigating you, we are going to come around, are you in on the 16th or whenever? And so if they make these purportedly final threats and final stages of investigation, and it's not, then in my view they've been dishonest with you. Because if they continue after that, why did they tell you it was the end? If it's not, think about it. Uh, if you've had letters like that, do let me know 
email them to me at either clips or requests at blackbeltbarrister.com and I would love to take a look at some of those. Maybe even at some point do a collaboration with uh, Chili John Carney. I'll link it below if you're not familiar. Um, very entertaining channel. And um, as I say, this idea today, credit to him. Go check it out. I'll link the video that gave me the idea. Uh, say hi from me. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next time.